The tango is a dance of passion, a lusty embrace of life, a philosophy Helen Gurley Brown has lived by for the past 81 years. She's entered her ninth decade with her usual gusto, as well as her trademark candor. I don't find anything wonderful about being 80 except that I'm still here, and I'm grateful for that. No sugarcoating for this lady. She clearly misses the perks of youth. I think 80 is desperately old. 60s, kind of, you can be frisky and run around, and who pays much attention anymore? It used to be 40, now it's gone all the way up to 60, you're fine. But 80, please, <laughs> it's called give me a break. But despite her years, Brown, a lifelong workaholic, sees no reason to slow down now. I work a full day, and I work hard every day because I oversee, as it is, 47 international editions of Cosmo. How's the new editor in Poland? She's doing great. Brown's job at Cosmo finds her white water rafting in Arizona one week and networking in London the next. You don't have a business card, do you? An octogenarian unfazed by jet lag. It's an absolute honor to meet you. Thank you. Another tool in her anti-aging arsenal, exercise. Exercise is about as boring as it gets. I loathe it, but it's there and it helps. So why not fight back a little bit? You are doing more in your 80s than people my age in our late 30s are doing. But you have to want to do those things and you have to create the situations. My husband, who is 86, and I went off, where else? Cambodia, Angkor Wat, to see the ruins. Why Did Cambodia? Because it's out there. It's one of the seven wonders of the world. I've always wanted to go, but you couldn't go because the Khmer Rouge was knocking off people. But finally, it was open to tourists. It's so fascinating. It's just an incredible country. Brown's life journey is fascinating as well. Born in 1922 in Arkansas, she had 17 different secretarial jobs before becoming one of the highest paid advertising copywriters in the country. She married movie producer David Brown when she was 37 and made news a few years later with her first book, Sex and the Single Girl. That led to her becoming editor-in-chief at Cosmopolitan Magazine, where she reigned for over 30 years. Helen Gurley Brown has been called one of the 25 most influential women of this country. Helen Gurley Brown, thanks very much. <laughs> Fascinating. The Cosmo Girl has turned 20. All right, Helen Gurley Brown, good to see you. You sort of became a spokesperson for a generation of young, career-oriented women who wanted to really have it all. Are you now taking on a new generation, people in their 80s, and saying, this is how you can have it all at this age? I don't know what I might say that would be that fascinating, except that I think you should work hard not only at your exercise and eat a little properly, along with improperly, but I think you should keep sex in your life, and that's a real challenge, because there may not be anybody for you to have sex with when you're 80, but it keeps you in the run, because I think sex is part of being human and alive and active. And staying active is what led Brown to sign up for tango lessons. The tango is kind of special because it's more complicated. It's precision, and you're crossing your feet over, and occasionally you're leaning up this strong man, and occasionally you're doing a back bend. So for me, it's a feeling of accomplishment along with the thrill of dancing all together. I was intrigued, and it didn't look so hard, so I decided to try something new. No easy feat, pun intended, as I soon discovered. Forward, side, back, side, forward. That's not so hard. No. Twisting moves, like figure eights. Don't uh -huh. you feel sexy when you do this dance? Yes. And I feel yes. clutchy when I'm doing this dance. Well, you don't look clutchy. You look sexy, so just go along. Okay. okay. Slow. Quick. One. Part of the challenge of staying young, says Brown, is finding your passion. Maybe it's not dance lessons. Maybe, um, what could it be? I guess cross-country hiking or skiing. Find out what you can still do that pleases you. 
What pleases this lady in her 80s is working hard and playing hard. As for regrets, well, I wish I had learned how to have fun at a party. Wish I'd learned how to be really. You're not, wait, you're not fun at a party? You don't think you're fun at a party? <laughs> no, I'm not fun Who at a party. Who is fun at a party if Helen Gurley Brown is not fun at a I'm party? I'm not fun at a party. All I'm doing is trying to think, <laughs> when will it be over? Oh, Lord, we've been here an hour and a half. I want to get out of here. But if I'd learned to have fun at a party, I wouldn't have done all these other things, which is writing and struggling and working and getting on with it, and we wouldn't be having this interview if I learned how to have fun at a party. <laughs>